Blah. <laughs> this is why we're going through the comments because these hot, you know, some of these takes are interesting to hear people say. Ready? This is the worst band a scandal of any sort can happen to. Like, my God, you can't be the preachiest. Of, that's the word we've been looking for. What I've been saying. This is a preach brand. This is a preach band that preaches values. And then you can't be the preachiest of preachy and then get a whiff of something like R-A-P-E because there isn't anything that they can even say in defense. They can't say she's lying. They can't say her story is exaggerated. They can't just take a break and learn because the same people have done that in the past, wouldn't get the same benefit of the doubt in return from them. A devastating day for the punk scene. Yeah, preachiest of the preach. This is the band that wrote feminism is for everybody with a beating heart and a functioning brain. This is a betrayal for everything they stood for and who condemned sexism directly in several songs and abuse of power in general throughout their discography. These guys were even invited to the White House as thanks for encouraging young people to vote. Fuck the government, obviously, but that's high profile shit. What a fucking mess. If this situation is what it looks like, I really hope there's some proper comeuppance for it. Seeing shit like this perpetrated by someone as outspokenly opposed to it as just insane risks further emboldening the fuckbags who routinely make women feel unsafe in the scene. I hope the shitty punk bros leave his accuser the fuck alone. <sighs> I guess as a 38-year-old who's drifted away from anti-flag but not from punk, I have two opinions. One, because they were responsible for mine and a lot of other people's political awakenings. For me, I was about 14. It sucks to see he was somewhat full of shit. Two, the fact that they broke up immediately, got rid of all their socials, looks like an admission of guilt. That's what I'm thinking. Fuck Justin. I hugged that dude at the FU church in 03. Okay, here's my... All right, ready? I think I'm ready for my take after reading all this. Here is my take on anti-flag situation, like overall. If the band really was what they were about, if they really stood for all that stuff, if whatever someone said before, Chris so-and-so is a better singer. Remember someone said that, that Chris, Chris R is a better, Chris too is a better singer. Chris R is from, uh, <laughs> Chris R is from uh, uh, the room with Tommy was fucking, if it was your one dude, if it was your dude, Justin fire him from his own band and continue on as anti-flag. That would have been the move. Ready? This is my this is my Monday morning quarterback breakdown of what the band could have done in this situation. Now, I'm always one of those guys who champions the the notion of of if a band a band is no longer a band when you lose a founding member, frontman, singer, songwriter, person, right? I'm a big proponent of that. So anti-flag should have fired Justin or should have left anti-flag and should have instead immediately reformed as a different band under a different band name and continued on espousing the ideals that they so-called proposed uh, were proponents of instead of just collapsing and folding. Because that is a cop out. That's my hot take. That's my two cents on it. An hour and seven minutes into this thing. Kip Doyle says relaunch as anti anti flag. Simple as that. Exactly. You can't call yourself flag because the black flag guys call themselves flag. You got to call yourself anti anti flag. That's what you have to do. Matt John says all their socials. Damn. Sounds like JS had a real R word problem. Yes. I liked AF, but there was always something that seemed very privileged about them. Yeah, apparently they were rich rich guys, uh, allegedly, here. Okay. So, yeah, I agree, man. The fact that they broke up immediately, like, don't – you should kick the guy out and reform as, you know, a different band. That's what you should do. And obviously you can't do that in real time in 24 hours, but it's like don't do anything. Keep all your socials up. Keep all your socials up. Wait – Release a statement saying we no longer can continue on as black uh, as anti-flag. We are now going to call ourselves whatever name, and we are continuing on without Justin. And and that's how you make the that's how you change over. That's how you change over. And that is assuming that the guy, other guys really did not know that Justin was scamming 
underage girls since the 90s, allegedly. Because I find it, as I said, very hard to believe that you didn't know your bandmate of decades was not scamming underage girls since the 90s or whatever. Or whatever the situation. The emo dead says, yeah, if they would have done that, they would have been a better move. But just deleting everything makes them look bad. Exactly. Question mark, question mark says they couldn't do that because they all knew what was going on. Exactly. Bing, 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 bing. Exactly. That, that is my suspicion as well. But that's what they knew he was a groomer, R-A-P-I-S-T. They were together 30 years. Come on, dude. Exactly. Bing, bing, bing. Give this man a chicken dinner. He is a winner. Question mark, question mark. That's the truth. That is the truth. I'm mostly in the same boat as you, although I never really drifted away. I saw them try. Right, we don't need to hear that. Terror State was me. I'm just a dude really enjoy it. Blah, 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 blah. I think maybe the band at least had some suspicions about Justin, and this podcast basically confirmed it. During the show, Christina mentions a member of Tsunami Bomb mentioned the podcast as a place to tell her story. So maybe certain sectors of the scene knew Justin wasn't as clean as he portrayed. I definitely idolized the band as a teen and remember my interactions with Justin, Pat, and number two. There's just no way to continue on as a band when this kind of thing leaks. And they're probably sorting through a lot of distrust and disgust right now. Right. But still call yourself a different name and... And, and go through and, and do your thing. I just saw them. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's not just a scandal. It's a fucking crime and a betrayal. Over and over through the years, it seemed like guys who scream for women's rights are the loudest. Uh, sorry. Over and over through the years, it seems like the guys who scream for women's rights, the loudest, are found out to be abusing them. Mentioning your stance on something should be encouraged, but when some of these guys go on and on, it's suspicious to me. And now I've just seen this too many times. There was a guy in a smaller but popular local band years ago. The singer would go on and on about women and how they're treated in the scene and society in general. He was one of the first ones that made me feel like, why is this his cause when he is making this what he's known for? And sure enough, it came out that he was a complete creep. He didn't R.I.P.E. anyone, but he cop feels when he was doing piercing or tattoos. Don't get me wrong. I've discussed my beliefs and morals and ideals on stage, but I didn't go about the right, right, right. Uh, reminds me of neurosis with Scott Kelly being an abuser. They knew, but kept it quiet out of respect for Scott's ex-wife and the kids. And I believe his ex-wife's request. Then Scott dives deep into his narcissism, saying he's an, ab an abuser and apologizes, then took the gloves off gloves off and right what they took the gloves off and went right at him over the bullshit he pulled. <sighs> I was really into war on women until I read what they did to that former member. The older I get, the more I realize how people will make careers out of political issues or are super aggrandizing of their values are usually full of shit or often absolutely terrible, abusive people. This really is devastating. I've loved AF since 2003. I, you know, I've been really rough on AF and I do feel bad like these like reading their fans like comments because it makes me I do feel sad for the fans. I do. Too many of their socials are down for this to be plot. Yeah, we already know that. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So that's another one. Let's see. Hold on. There's one more. It's kind of wild because they basically had a kill switch to nuke everything social on the band almost immediately for something that happened 13 years ago. Boom, 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 boom. At the core of the issue. They had a kill switch to nuke everything social on the band almost immediately. So maybe they're like, guys, we knew this day was coming and it finally came. It's time to nuke it for something that happened 13 years ago. I'm kind of at a loss for words about this out of respect for the fans. I'm going to stay that way. I know lots of dudes and lots of bands that do sketchy shit unbeknownst to their bandmates. Could be drugs, could be robbing people, could be do domestic terrorism. She mentioned me too. So I'll reference saves the day, brand new and cheap girls all had predatory band members that no one knew about. Look again, I'm not, it's not impossible for band members not to know, but it's highly improbable. It's highly unlikely that your band members don't know or suspect. Maybe they suspect and they keep it for themselves. The thing that's unknown is did Chris, Chris too, and Pat know this was happening with Justin? Were they protecting him? Were they left in the dark? Not unlikely. It's likely the rest of the band knew Justin was a POS doing this to some extent. They use some in italics. 
How much did they know? I don't know. Nobody knows. As to why a statement or some sort of public acknowledgement or on why the breakup is happening. Wait, as to why a statement or some sort of public acknowledgement on why the breakup has happened is very, very important because uh, am I angry at Justin? I am angry at the whole band for protecting Justin. Do I feel bad for the band if they did not know who Justin was doing this? I have no idea how to feel and no idea who knew and what is just confusing. I get it, man. And I want to say, I think the I think the band knew. I That's my personal belief is that the band knew. I know this is hard for people to understand, but when you realize they are co-workers in a business, the band has always been in performance, put on Justin's full of shit, and this, with the straight edge chest panic. So he's not really a straight edge, but he per, per, says he's a straight edge. I've seen him drunk many, many times. Others have too. Oh, so he's a fake straight edge, dude. That is such, oh, nothing worse than fake straight edge people. Such a fucking, what a goofball. Oh my God. People are acting like Justin was RIP ing people and then texting Chris too about it. Extremely likely that nobody had any, come on. I don't know anti-flag like that, but a lot of other older bands that have been together for literally decades are more than just co-workers, but very, very close friends and have bonds like brothers. If they were a newer band member, then sure, I would agree. But in this case, even though, yes, they all had their own separate lives and families, I can't imagine them not being close friends too. Also knowing a, well, knowing a lot of bands that I do, if someone, usually the lead singer, LOL, is a POS, the other band members will protect them, not necessarily because they agree, because to keep the band's image and reputation in check. That is the Occam's razor of the situation, right? It comes to a point, usually with heavy drinking or drug use, when they may have to give the guy the ultimatum. That's right. When, hev when heavy drinking or drug use for forces the, the band to not function the way that they have, that's usually when they get the push, not for the actual things that are going on. Well, I've uh, question mark, question mark says, I've heard things about anti-flag being predatory for years and I'm not even a fan. So there you go. And maybe it's because they're afraid of getting sued, in which case all of this is alleged.